district. He is carrying a vote from our district to Washington, D.C. to stop the deficit spending. Yes. And he is going to work very hard at providing excellent in constituent service for our district. So, it's time for a change. It's time for a conservative vote in Washington. Yes. 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 That's right. And it's my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce. Here's Bobby. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chuck. You know, thank you everyone for coming out on a, on a cold morning is what we got here. But, you know, I don't know if anybody got to see the uh, debate last night. Did everybody get to see yeah. it? Yes. yes. You know, I, I kind of towards the end there, I felt like maybe I should have had some headgear on. But, uh, <laughs> oh. you know, I believe truly that this is the, uh, the most important election in the history of the United States of America. You know, we've seen the last two years what they've done to our country, you know, and, and the environment they've, they've uh, created for our businesses and, and they continue to keep, keep putting a bullseye on our small businesses and that's one of the things that we have to get rid of and I believe truly from the bottom of my heart that on November the 2nd when the Republicans take control of the House, the business owners across the United States of America will have some peace of mind knowing that hey now we've got some direction and there's no more of this shoving stuff through uh, no matter what we think. You know, last night when I closed the, the, uh, the debate, you know, I talked about you know, the greatest generation. Yes. And I talked about how they were called upon and how they rose to that occasion. And, and I said to the people out there, and, you know, I'm not one that goes out and I, I have these things that I've got to read through because I just speak, speak from my heart. And, you know, I really truly do believe that we're just being called upon and, and we just need to rise up like the, the greatest generation did. And, and I tell people that our kids and our grandkids, they're counting on us. You know, if you take a look at the national debt right now, look at Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, every person in America with the obligations to Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid, we owe almost $250,000 almost. You know, it's pretty scary. And, and the administration and Phil Hare and Nancy Pelosi, they continue to push through bills that are crushing our jobs market. You know, if you look at the national energy tax, that's two and a half million jobs that Phil Hare voted for. He voted for that bill. He can't get away from his voting record, and that's the thing that we've held him accountable for the whole time. You know, from day one, our message has been really, really simple. It's less spending, less taxes, and get the government out of the way and get the power back to the people. Amen? Yes. Yeah. finish off this campaign with a nice positive mes message. The, the commercials are going to start running out today. He's going to hit to the dirt and, and it's no big deal. You know, and the thing that I told the, the, the kids as we were um, starting this thing up is I want to run a solid campaign, get to the issues, what's affecting us, our kids, our businesses. Um, and I think we've done a pretty good job of it. And, you know, what we have to do, we've got five days from today. And to leave here today, go back home and just kind of wait till Tuesday, watching C-SPAN and other things that are going on, would be a disservice to every the future generations that are out there counting on us. When we get out there today, you know, you look at the ticket that we have here in Illinois. Um, I get really upset when I look at the 17th district that I was born and raised in, and the destruction that's happened to it over the last 30 years. We watch job after job after job leave, and. You know, from here to Tuesday, 7 o'clock at night, we have an obligation. We've got to get as many people out to vote as possible. Um, you know, and the message is really pretty simple. And I, I, I closed it last night. I talked about Illinois is broke, Washington's broken, and the same people that have gotten us to get us out. And I think it's time to, to really move this country forward, and that's how we do it. And, and I really do appreciate your support. We need to get to the polls. We need more money, of course, you know, and, you know, anything, anybody that can do anything on that end. We've got a, uh, a newspaper that's coming out this week. Everybody should be getting to the mailboxes. It's a nice positive message, a uh, nice contrast between myself and uh, the opponent that votes 98.8% of the time with Nancy Pelosi. So, and, 
you know, when I talk to people, I say, you know what, if you believe that Nancy Pelosi should be running this district, I'm not your guy. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I think it's so true because that's where we're at. And it's going to be an awesome day on January the 4th when we get in there and the first vote we, we have is to fire Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. 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 That's right. Close with this. Um, I believe firmly in God and country. We have an obligation to uphold, and I'm asking and I'm literally begging for each and every one of us to stand up, rise up. We're being called. Heed the call. Get people to the polls. Do whatever you can within your power. God has given us all some type of an ability to put to use here. We just heed the call. That's all I ask. God bless you. God bless the 17th. God bless America. Let's get this done. Yeah. And God bless Bobby Silly. Thank you guys for coming today. Actually, we'd like to invite all of you to come over here and join us um, at the uh, Bob's for Jobs uh, van. Uh, we just got it back yesterday, and we want to get a picture of everyone in front of it. That's cool. <laughs> so you're